Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we are looking at another bottle of beer from Thwaites, and in particular their Crafty Dan microbrewery. So the smaller brew plant on the main site at Thwaites in Blackburn. This is Big Ben. It's a brown ale at 5.8% ABV. Some interesting details on the back. Even gives it the um, SRM, do not it? Something about the colour. Anyway, I can't find that. Um, so yes, this time, malt, pale and crystal. Very simple malt bill. Um, I think it is a brown ale with just crystal, bringing in that kind of um, damn malt character I'd have expected. Maybe some light crystal, maybe some brown malt, something like that. Maybe a bit of a chocolate malt. Um, but it's hopped with Fuggles, Goldins, Challenger, and then more interestingly for me, Citra, Chinook, and Summit. So let's get this open. I do like a brown ale. Once again, these beers are available from Bag and Booze, £1.50. Bargain. So see what, let's see what this is like. So bear in the glass, yeah, very, a very dark kind of crimson I'd say. A fizzy, quite bubbly, oh, quite an aggressive pour on that, but quite a fizzy, bubbly, um, kind of very much a beige head. So let's give it a sniff. Nice, um, kind of burnt caramel, there's a certain kind of um, red grape thing going on there, a uh, small hint of marzipan, yeah in a, in a way it's got a similarity to like a Belgian uh, double which I often find, I mean there's a, there's a certain similarity between a Belgian double and a uh, English brown ale. Yeah, kind of chocolate covered marzipan. Doesn't smell, it's it's more on the kind of maybe red skinned apples, black currants. It's more on that kind of more vinous side of things as opposed to the malty sweet kind of chocolatey coffee kind of thing. What I like in a brown ale. And I mean of those hops, I don't think they're especially those late those American hops aren't really jumping out as, as kind of like big American hops. It smells relatively British, more along the lines of like a Kentish strong ale, obviously it's a lot lower ABV than that. Maybe it's closer to like a man's brown ale, opposed to like a Newcastle brown ale. I mean, the, the very two different si um, styles of brown ale. Personally I'd like my brown ale a bit more brown. <coughs> that's, quite a, that's quite a dark red opposed to a brown, and I'd like a lot more kind of that kind of multi character, and not sweet. Yeah, it is quite sweet. Anyway, let's dive in, see what it's all about. Cheers. You are getting a bit more hops in there. I'm going to say there's a certain character that makes me think of cherry. Um, definitely, once again, that uh, red skin apple. So is that like tang of like autumn leaves and as I said red apple. Maybe a hint of like something, maybe slight cinnamon note. Definitely a big whack of that um, crystal malt bringing in more of a sweet sugary toffee apple type thing opposed to like a molasses which I'd prefer. There is a, something that reminds me of cough medicine, but not in a bad way. Um, um, I guess that's that kind of like more bruised apple. Yeah, and a tang. Ends relatively, really quite dry actually. With more of that kind of big heavy crystal mull. I think the hops are coming through in this quite a lot. But I, I think it's those British hops that I think the Fuggles and the Goldens are leading the show. Maybe the Chinook, in, in a way, reminds me of um, is it Solstar from Adams? It's got a similarity of that. I think you're getting a, quite a nice punchy bitterness in there. But which is kind of placated by those um, those kind of sweeter malts from the crystal malt. I'm a big fan of. 
hoppy brown ale. And when I think of good hoppy brown ale, it's more on the lines of um, Brewdog's Dogma, or which is a Scotch ale actually, uh, or um, India Brown Ale from Dogfish Head, which I think is an absolute cracker. That's got more of that roast, which I, I prefer. But if you, when you think about this, tasting it, it does taste along the lines of like a Newcastle Brown Ale, which is a very traditional brown ale. But I guess when you're whacking those hops in there, I'm expecting a bit more, a bit more, and I prefer a bit more. Excuse me, there's fireworks going off. It's, um, it's that time of year. Mm. I prefer a bit more on that roast malt side, although I post that sweeter element. That might be a bit more of a traditional British brown ale, but when I'm thinking of that, that New World brown ale, like Janet's Brown, uh, which is a, a renowned homebrew recipe, that's what you should do, Thwaites. Get online. Nick um, Tasty McDowell's um, recipe for Janice Brown because he's done that but Russian River and stuff that's, and I, I had a go at that and that's the kind of beer that I prefer I think it needs a bit more of those bigger roast, roast malt characters I don't think the crystals doing enough to make it pretty much a brown ale and if you're going to go for a traditional brown ale those American hops are maybe going to throw things out of whack and I think that's what's happened here as nice as it is, it's a really nice sipping beer actually not sipping beer, but quaffing beer 5.8, maybe it's a little bit strong for that kind of thing but yeah, I'm going to say one more time bigger malt character and really blast up those hops and those American hops and make it sing out and make this more of a that kind of like modern kind of twist on a brown ale opposed to that traditional because this Crafty Dan um, range is a bit more like that. This is this kind of beer hacks a bit back more to kind of like their nut, uh, is it Nutty Black, which is lovely, down mild, Lancaster Bomb, and that kind of thing. I think this has got a bit more closer flavour flavor profile to that than it has something like 13 Guns and Crafty Dan itself as well, so that, which is a lovely beer. Mm. A nice beer. I think it's the kind of beer that a lot of real ale drinkers will enjoy but as far as this brand goes I think it needs a little bit more. Nice but for me could could be better. So that's a bottle of Big Ben Brown Ale 5.8% ABV from Crafty Down Microbrewery as part of uh, Daniel Thwaites. 5.8. Nice buzzing. I prefer it to be more than what it is. Anyway I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. See you next time. Cheers.